I liked you from the moment I saw you, he said, and asked me to come and meet him alone. I moved my hand away quickly and asked him to go back to his seat. When he was walking towards his chair, he said that I was the only person who turned down his invitation. After that, he started calling me. From that night itself, he began calling me all the time. Began sending me voice messages on WhatsApp also. So I sent his number to my husband. My husband called him and asked him not to talk to me. But he didn't listen. Still would call all the time. So my husband threatened him. He said that he would release all the recordings. And this doctor challenged him. He said, show me what you think you can do to me. So my husband sent him one of the recordings. And then he backed off. I didn't tell this to anybody because I felt embarrassed. And since I haven't shared it with anyone, I didn't feel the stigma. These incidents happen frequently because perpetrators know that there's no system, no mechanism in place to apprehend them. They can always seek the support from someone with money, your power and even the law. We must change the way we look at this problem. A sexual act happens with the consent of two people. It shouldn't happen by force. I didn't complain to the police because I was worried about my job. I was worried that I would be re-victimized if I went to the police. So I didn't lodge a complaint. No matter how good a woman is, it cannot be seen. She's always the person at fault. We must take actions without thinking that these are such small things. We do it as if we are hiding something. There must be other women who are troubled more because of this. I don't know the details, but definitely he had made the same request from other women. If he was courageous enough to walk over to me and hold my hand, I can only imagine the plight of his other female patients. Thank you.